Hey, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. On today's episode, we have a toilet that is leaking between the tank and the bowl, and I'm gonna show you how to replace the seal between the two. Your first step, you're gonna to need to turn off the water to the toilet. And then I like to try to get as much water out of the tank as possible. You can flush out most of it, but then I use a shop vac to suck out what's left. If you don't have a shop vac, that's okay. You can just lay a towel down on the floor so that in these next steps, any water that drips out won't make a mess. With the tank drained out, we'll be able to disconnect that water fill hose so that we can remove the tank from the bowl. Now we're gonna remove the nuts off the bottom of the tank bolts. Depending on the brand of toilet, sometimes there are two bolts and sometimes there are three. In this case, we have a Kohler toilet with three bolts. I'm using a socket wrench in the video, but you could also use a crescent wrench or a pair of pliers if you don't have a socket wrench. With the nuts removed, the tank should just lift right off and we're gonna lay it down so that we can get to the seal on the bottom. This black rubber piece on the bottom of the tank is what's been leaking, so this is what we wanna replace. These seals are available on Amazon and at any hardware store. There are different seals for different brands. Like I said, this is a Kohler toilet, so I will include a link for this one in the description of the video. I will also include a couple of links for other ones that are fairly standard in case your toilet is not a Kohler. Here we are going to push the bolts through into the toilet tank, so completely removing the bolts through the top. With the bolts out, we'll be able to pull the seal out of these holes. These Kohlers use a triangle seal that has the bolts and the center part all as one piece. Some brands, the bolts use rubber washers on the bolts themselves, separate from the center gasket. The seals usually come as a kit with the bottom seal and the top seal. So to get to the top seal, we'll need to remove this big nut off of the bottom. Behind that nut, there is a slip ring. That is important, this slip ring that I'm removing right here, that's important, so hang on to that, it's not trash. Then you'll pull that whole overflow tube out the top. This has the top seal on there, you can pull that off. And then we'll replace that seal with the new top seal. With the new seal shoved all the way onto the overflow tube, we can slide the whole thing back in where it came from. And we're ready to put the new seal on the bottom. With these triangle shaped seals, they only go one way. One of the points is shorter than the other, and that's the one that goes to the back. So you'll shove all the points into the bolt holes, and then you'll need that slip ring. You put the slip ring on, and then you'll take the nut, and you'll put the nut on. Now with this nut, finger tight should be good enough, but you're gonna to wanna to get it as tight as you can get it with your hands. Now we're gonna shove all the bolts back through the holes. On these Kohlers, this is kind of the hard part. You have to shove it through that rubber seal. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's not too bad. Now for tightening the tank back down to the bowl, there are two washers. The plastic one goes on first, then the metal one, and then the nut. So we'll slide the tank back on where it goes. And you put on the plastic washer, then the metal washer, and then the nut. Now we're gonna tighten these with our fingers first. Just get them finger tight on all three of these, and then we'll tighten them down with the ratchet. Whether you're using a socket wrench like I am in the video, or a crescent wrench, or even a pair of pliers, you're gonna to wanna to do just a couple of turns on each nut 
and you're going to rotate around. So do a couple of turns on this one, and then we'll do a couple of turns on the one on the back, and a couple of turns on the one on the other side, and then come back to this one again. We're trying to bring them all down evenly until the tank makes contact with the bowl. Our final step will be reattaching the water supply line and turning the water back on. When you turn the water back on, the tank will fill up and it'll be time to flush it and check for leaks. We're looking for leaks between the tank and the bowl where we saw them before and also any leaks coming from the bolts underneath. If no water is dripping down, then you should be good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time. Mm -hmm.